Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you floating effects windows in Reaper. Now, to way out effects in Reaper, we'll go to our tracks and hit this button over here, which opens up the effects browser where we could choose our effects. So let's add a rear gate to this track by double clicking. And by default, it opens up in the effects chain window. It's called an effects chain window because over here we see the list of effects. And over here, we see the effects. This will make more sense if we add a few more. We'll double click over here. Let's add a compressor, an EQ, a phaser, and a flanger. So we can see over here the list of plugins on the track from beginning to end. But over here, we actually see the effects. But we can only see them one at a time as we choose them, unless we float them, which means to separate them from the effects chain window like this. Just choose it and double click it, and that floats that effect. It doesn't change the effect, it just changes how we see it. Here's the effects chain window, and we don't see that plugin in it. These are still there. But rear gate is floated. So let's float them all, select them all, double click them. And now they're all floating down here. Let's close the effects chain window and organize them so we can see them all at the same time. So now we can see all the effects on this track at the same time and adjust the parameters that easily. But if we close it, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and open it back up again, they all go back to the effects chain window. They're not floating, but we didn't lose the position we created. We could still get it back if we float them again by double clicking them one at a time, or all together, and they all go back to where we saved them or where we left them. Now we could also float them one at a time by right clicking over here. Here's all the plugins on the track, and we can float them one at a time right from here. And again, they save their position, and we can close them all at the same time, that easily. Now there's a preference that goes with this. If we go to the Options menu and choose Preferences, we can scroll down to Plugins, and right over here is an option that's turned off by default. Auto Float Newly Created Effects Windows. So if we turn this on, and now we add effects on our tracks, Let's add rear gate. It's going to float by default. And if we open up our effects browser, Shift F, we could drag a plugin from here and drop it on the track. And that's going to float as well. Because this preference is turned on. But even with this on, if we choose our effects from here, they don't float. If we hit this button, it always opens up the effects chain, regardless of the preference over here. And also, when we right click over here and choose them, they're always going to float. Again, regardless of the preference in here. But this preference does affect if we use keyboard shortcuts. Let me show you. Let's turn it off, and let's go to the action list, actions, show action list, and let's type in open effects. And there's a bunch of actions right here, one through eight, that are going to open the effects 
on a last touched track with the keyboard shortcut. Now I created a custom action over here that's going to perform all of them at the same time. It's going to open and close one through eight automatically, as we can see right here. So let's add a keyboard shortcut to that right here. Now, if we select our track and hit that keyboard shortcut, it opens up all the effects on that track. But it opens up in the effects chain window. If we don't want that behavior, just change that preference right here to auto float newly created effects windows. And now it opens it up how we saved our floated windows or how we left them. Hit the keyboard shortcut again, and it closes it. Do the same on this track, and it floats them how we left them. But it only works with this preference turned on. Otherwise, we get the effects chain window instead. And it'll work the same way if we had a keyboard shortcut for new plugins. Let's delete the plugins on this track and add a new one. Let's choose Rear Comp. Let's right click it and choose to create a shortcut to add it. And now with that preference set to default, if I choose this track and hit that keyboard shortcut, it adds the compressor to the track, but it opens up as an effects chain window. And if we keep hitting that keyboard shortcut, it keeps adding more instantiations of that plugin. But they're always going to be in the effects chain window. Unless we change the preference over here. And now if we add it with the keyboard shortcut, it's going to open up by floating. So that's the difference with the preference on and off. Now, if we open up our mixer, we can see our effects right over here. We could duplicate them by dragging them over or delete them. But if we open them up from over here, they're going to float regardless of the preference. Just click it and that plugin floats in the same position it was in before. But if we open it up from over here, it's always going to open up as a chain. Unless we right click the button and we can float them from here. So we can float them by right clicking, put them in the effects chain by clicking them, or float them by clicking individually right here. So that's floating effects windows in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.